So the holidays are just a few days away and you realize that you have not put any lights or any decorations outside of your home. Now it's way too late, you got the snow, the white powder, to some drug addicts, cocaine falling from the sky, and now it's really cold outside, your roof might be slippery, and you don't even want to risk your life. So the next best thing to do is get on your computer, whether it be in your bathroom or maybe the attic, uh, sometimes I keep my computer in the closet, and uh, just go in there and add some lights to your house. The first thing you need to do is take a photo of your house during the daytime. I know, what daytime, what? Take a photo during the daytime since uh, that's when you're gonna get the best uh, out of your house. Nighttime, all you're gonna see is uh, probably a black picture, okay? So um, take it during the day and then what we need to do is take out this sky in the background. Now for me, the white sky blends in with the white roof here. So we're gonna need, I'm gonna have to use a different method but you should always be able to use the quick selection tool or maybe even the magic wand tool but in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly use the polygonal lasso tool or you can even use a pen tool whatever uh, method you prefer but before I even start I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm just going to go ahead and come in here and try to cut out this roof uh, quick selection tool will just not work on this because of the uh, white sky and the white roof they just they just don't mix all right and then we can finish off this selection and now I got the uh, sky selected I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna hold down control delete and depending on the type of Photoshop you have, I'm going to go to select, deselect, deselect uh, de everything. And I just have a white sky there. Depending on what type of Photoshop you have, when you hit control delete, it could come up with a, a new fill layer. And uh, you just you could just choose uh, white or 50% gray. Now that I have this, I'm going to make sure that the uh, sky is selected. Filter, noise, add noise. And we're going to add some noise. I'm going to keep the amount at around 100% and the distribution at Gaussian and monochromatic checked. Click OK. And now I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I just learned the uh, pronunciation to that. It's Gaussian, I believe. If, if, I, if I'm remembering right, it's Gaussian. And we're going to create a radius at one pixel. Click OK. And now we're going to go to uh, image adjustments levels. And we're going to move this node all the way on the left all the way over and what we're trying to create is some stars now we don't want it to look like it's snowing from the black sky we're just gonna create a couple little stars you know very subtle hardly nothing because we don't want to make it look like the house is in space so now we're gonna click OK and now we get a dark sky with a really bright house it's like there's a huge spotlight going on this house uh, someone just broke out of jail and uh, they're looking for you on your house so there there there's that okay now we're gonna click on this house copy and we're gonna add a new adjustment layer by going down here and uh, clicking that we're gonna go ahead and add a levels adjustment layer and I'm gonna come down here and move this right node down here over to to make the house look like it's uh, dark outside bring that around 100 you can type that in as well and then uh, I'm gonna add another one hue and saturation and I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a little bit because when it's nighttime your house tends to lose its color so just uh, kinda make it a little bit more less saturated and now our house looks like it's uh, nighttime close enough some people won't even notice that it's it's been photoshopped they will really think that this is a real picture trust me Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come up here all the way to the top layer, add a new layer above that. Now we're going to go to the brushes, so brush tool, and I'm going to choose a size of around 9, hardness at 100, and we're going to open up the brush palette, and we're going to add some, um, some effects. And on the brush palette, we're going to go ahead and move this arrow up, and we're going to click this little dot right here and shrink this up and uh, increase the spacing 
Now what this is doing is is creating kind of like little light bulbs. So we can make these a little bit thicker. And I can see that the uh, hardness needs to be at 100%. You can space it out however you want. And then I'm going to go to Shape Dynamics. Create a little bit of an angle jitter. Maybe around 10%. And initial direction for the control. And the size jitter off. Okay, for now that should be good. So we can hide this. And then we're going to start with our foreground set to white and I'm just gonna click in one area hold down shift and click on the next area and I'm just gonna keep holding down shift and I'm gonna go add these lights now of course for you you can take your time like always I'm just flying through Okay, let's add a little bit of lights here. Some lights here. And I can even add some lights around this door here. Whatever whatever fits your imagination. And if I can get it around here, that'd be great. So there's that. Close enough. You can always, uh, you know, go around all these windows, take your time, and add tons of lights like some people tend to do during the holidays. Okay, now we're going to add some effects to this layer. So we're going to double click to bring up the uh, layer style. And I'm going to choose an outer glow. And we're just going to leave the colors the same, maybe bring the opacity up a little bit. And the size and spread just a little bit. I don't know if that's too much. We don't want them to be like, yeah, that's way too much. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Wow, it really jumps up, doesn't it? You can bring the opacity down just a little bit. And then we're going to uh, add a drop shadow. I'm going to change the blend mode from nor uh, multiply to screen. Change the color to kind of an off white yellowish color. Click OK. I'm going to bring the spread up just a little bit here and the size as well. Just to add a little bit more of a glow. And that looks good, so click OK. Now we're going to click the uh, Levels Mask right here. This little mask button. And we're going to select a brush size. And around maybe... For now, for now I'm going to use 62. And just a really soft brush. Black as a foreground. And we're just going to mask out some of this... Uh, some of this levels layer So if you can see what it's doing, it's basically masking it out to, to this image and uh, It's gonna look like the uh, the lights are producing a little bit of a glow on the house Just to make them look a little bit more realistic you Can even light up this door a little bit Alright, so there's that. And I want to show you one other thing. If you want to um, add some lights around the tree, let's say, I'm going to bring the size back down to 9 pixels, the hardness all the way up. Open up the brush um, palette. And I am going to change up some settings. I'm going to make this, uh, turn this into our regular bulbs. Bring the spacing up. Uh, the hardness is all the way up. I'm going to come down here to scattering. And we're going to bring the scattering way up so they're all scattered. Um, and also color dynamics. Let's make sure we create a new layer. And we're going to bring the hue jitter all the way up to 100%. And, uh, and yeah, that should work. And then let's say you have a tree. Let's start with a color. I'm just going to start with red. And color around this tree. And you can see you're adding multiple color lights on your bushes let's say you had some tree ba uh, some naked tree branches so there's some colorful lights you can even duplicate that layer to make them a little bit more intense you don't have to if you don't want to I'm not forcing you to you're not at gunpoint right now so you're okay so there you have it some 
uh, Christmas lights added virtually in Photoshop to your house, all while you're sitting at your desk, drinking a hot cup of cocoa, or just hot chocolate, and, uh, and you know, just sitting there, holding the mouse, moving it around a little bit, creating this. There you go. You put lights on your house. Good job. I'll send you the, uh, your award certificate in the mail. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays to you. And until next time, take care.